This is Dr. Markey again here from NYU Facial Plastic Surgery, and today we're going to talk about the treatment of facial synkinesis with Botox injections. So first off to begin, what is facial synkinesis? So facial synkinesis is basically an unwanted pattern of facial movement that can occur in patients that have suffered a facial nerve injury before. So that can include most commonly Bell's palsy, uh, also Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, uh, benign tumors around the facial nerve like an acoustic neuroma or a vestibular schwannoma, uh, also problems in the, the parotid gland, so whether it be a tumor or another facial nerve injury. There's an injury to the facial nerve, and that disrupts the pattern of flow from the brain down the facial nerve and all its branches to the muscles of the face. And so when there's an injury, it takes some time for the facial nerve to recover. And then during that process of recovery, the patient initially experiences complete flaccid paralysis of the face, where they often can't close their eye, they can't make a tight seal with their mouth, and so on. And then with time, the tone returns to that side of the face, but they get this unwanted movement, where as the nerve is recovering, the branch that used to go to the muscle that raises the eyebrow, maybe now goes to the muscle around their eye. And the muscle and the nerve that used to go down to the muscle that helps them smile, now goes down to the muscle that helps them frown. So all this different movement results in global pattern of tightness and unwanted movements. And so as you can imagine, it can be quite distressing for patients that have had this facial nerve injury like Bell's palsy or uh, a cerebellopontine angle tumor removed previously. And then over time, this flaccid paralysis develops into facial synkinesis. When a patient comes to see me for facial synkinesis on the right or the left side, uh, the first thing I do is often take pictures, uh, take a video and document exactly how they are at that moment in time and then what things we can do to improve their condition. And so oftentimes the first step is to go to a physical therapist, and we have a physical therapy uh, office here within NYU that we refer most of our patients to. Um, and that's helpful because the physical therapist can go over some movements to help to encourage symmetry of their facial movements, to relax their muscles with massage, and, uh, and just kind of help global symmetry and function of the face as the patient's trying to get used to this new pattern of unwanted facial movement. And after a couple physical therapy sessions, the patient will, will return back to our clinic, and then we consider doing Botox injections to help encourage symmetry of their facial movement. Now I'll do some patient examples of Botox injections for facial synkinesis. Here are right-sided facial synkinesis, and you can see the right eye narrowing when she purses her lips and smiles, as well as some asymmetric dimpling of her chin. So here's the Botox injection record. You can see we focused around that right eye injected some Botox to her mentalis muscle of her chin. Then we'll move ahead. Two weeks after the Botox injection, you can see the eyes are much more symmetric. She still has maintained her eye closure. The chin is less asymmetric as well with less dimpling and a more relaxed appearance. And here you can see right chin and cheek tightness, especially with right eye closure. And the right eye is narrowed, especially with pursing her lips and puffing out her cheeks, smiling. And the smile itself is asymmetric. So moving on to the Botox injection record, we focused around that right eye, the right mid face, her chin on both sides, inside her mouth as well as the right platysma muscle. And here we are three weeks after the Botox injection. You can see the right eye is much more symmetric to the left. The right chin and cheek are more relaxed, especially with eye closure, but much more symmetric appearance. Here we can see asymmetry of the eyebrows, the right lower than the left because of chronic contraction of the right orbicularis oculi muscle. So moving on to the Botox injection record, we have focused around the right eye, the right chin, and then for a second session, focusing on the forehead to make the left, eye, left eyebrow less dynamic. And here we are six weeks after the Botox, eyebrows are more symmetric, less tight on the right side. And lastly, besides Botox injections, we have a host of other uh, surgical and non-surgical options that we uh, prescribe for patients who are dealing with facial synkinesis. One is filler injections like Juvederm Ultra, Juvederm Ultra XC, 
We oftentimes put those in these folds here, which can be asymmetric in patients that are dealing with facial synchinesis. Uh, to the cheeks as well and to the temporal fossa too is also really helpful for patients that have been suffering with that for some time. And then as far as surgical options go too, we also do a procedure where we make a small incision here in front of the ear and we perform what's called a selective neurectomy where we find the nerves that are causing some of the unwanted symptoms that the patients describe, a more strained smile or asymmetry between both sides of the face, really for the cheekbones down. And we'll find those nerves and remove them so that we can encourage a more symmetric smile and to see those teeth more symmetrically and that's been helpful as well. Oftentimes performed in, con in conjunction with other cosmetic surgeries like uh, facelift, brow lift, and so on. But anyway, those are all options for facial synchinesis. So thank you for watching. Once again, this is Jeff Markey from NYU Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery.